a celebration of James Lipton. He was the host of Inside the Actor Studio for 23 years. He got the biggest actors and actresses to talk, to laugh, and cry, reveal so much of themselves. Tributes continuing to pour in this morning, and Chris Conley joins us now from LA. Good morning, Chris. And good morning, Robin. As an erudite interviewer of performers, directors, and creators of film and TV, James Lipton elicited answers that brought fresh insights into their craft, their careers, and sometimes their hearts. From Jennifer Aniston to Will Smith. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to be on this show. <laughs> From Hugh Jackman to Jim Carrey. As host of Inside the Actors Studio for 23 seasons, beginning in 1994, James Lipton welcomed big names in show business. What brought you here? For thoughtful, unhurried conversations that took viewers inside the creative process. I promised myself that it would be about craft and not about gossip. Bolstered by index cards and encyclopedic preparation. Did you appear in any of the uh, plays at the Resurrection Baptist Church? Oh man, you did some real homework over there. His Q&As would also provide a permanent record of some who've since passed on such as Paul Newman and riotous Robin Williams, whose time in the chair was an anarchic delight. Uh, what took you from Chicago to Detroit? A plane. <laughs> the show's success on cable made Lipton himself a celebrity, his lofty tone affectionately parodied by Will Ferrell in this classic SNL sketch. It is delightful. <laughs> Taught acting in the 1950s by the great Stella Adler, Lipton would go on to serve as the dean of the Actors Studio Drama School. His longtime dream was that one of his students would join him on stage someday. Then, in 1999, one of those acting students had a question for Sean Penn. It was a young Bradley Cooper. Hey, Mr. Penn, uh, my name is Bradley Cooper. I'm a second-year actor. My question is regarding Hurley Burley. What was it like to revisit a character, Eddie, after a 10-year hiatus? Did you have new discoveries? Did you find that... Um, it was a different approach because you had already done this character before. Whose subsequent appearance on the show 12 years later, in 2011, sparked an outpouring of grateful emotion. Who was your basic technique teacher? <sighs> Pointing to his teacher in the crowd, Elizabeth Kemp. I was never able to relax in my life before her. James Lipton died Monday at the age of 93, remembered as a teacher whose curiosity about creativity could entertain and inspire. And among those paying tribute to James Lipton on social media, Oscar winner Barbara Streisand, who tweeted, he was interested in the actor's process, which was so refreshing. Game recognizes game, guys. Yes, sure indeed. Does. Boy, it really does. Thank you, Chris, for for sharing that he was something special. And I understand in the business, we usually do pre-interviews. You talk to the person ahead of time. He never conducted pre-interviews. Everything was right there. Wow. And you the can moment. feel it when you watch. Yes, yeah. you really could.